and welcome to another video. Today I am going to do the college tag which um, I thought was a thing but um, and it kind of is a thing but I haven't really seen a lot of it. I found a few lists of questions. Um, the questions are kind of lame. I ended up mostly I'm gonna go with two lists and pick and choose from them. The main list, though, I think it's funny that I'm picking from, is actually a list that they suggest counselors ask um, their new college students, like, to get to know college students that, yeah, they're counseling. Um, but they're actually good questions in general for, like, this tag. Um, so I'm going to use those mostly. So let's get started. Okay, question number one is... Why did you choose the college you go to? Well, I guess I should start off by saying what college I go to, which is Colorado State University. Um, why did I choose it? I'm going to be honest. It was because I knew that I pretty much had a 100% guarantee that I was going to get in. It wasn't like most colleges where you're like, oh, am I going to get in? Like, I don't know. Um, I had previously gone to community college in Colorado and um, with the way... Colorado State works is, um, and I think Colorado, like Colorado, University of Colorado as well, the way that they work is if you had previous, if you're a Colorado resident and previously had gone to a Colorado community college, it's almost guaranteed that you will get in. So that was pretty much my reasoning. Also, Colorado State compared to University of Colorado is a lot cheaper. Actually, okay, I'll tell you the main reason I didn't choose University of Colorado is because I grew up in Boulder, which is where University of Colorado is. And, gonna be honest, I hate Boulder with all my heart and soul. I grew up there. I hate the people there. I hate it there so, 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 so incredibly much. So, um, I was like, yeah, thinking about going to school here um, makes me cringe. It is a beautiful campus, and I do think their campus... Um, is a lot prettier than Colorado State's campus. Like, Colorado State is just kind of like, meh. But University of Colorado is, like, beautiful. Um, and I will give it that. But um, I just grew up there. And I honestly hated there. When I, grow up, when I grew up there, I hated it there. So I was like, yeah, thinking about coming back is not my cup of tea. So that's why I chose it uh, mostly. But yes, again, costs and in terms of not going like out of state or somewhere else it's because again I had like a hundred percent guarantee and I'm not gonna lie I didn't do the best in high school and I didn't do the best in community college so I didn't have like the best um, you know uh, GPA and all that good stuff so I could apply to other schools out of you know different states or whatever but the chances of getting in were slim and more expensive and yeah so Colorado State was the reason. It's kind of a shitty reason, but that was my reason. Okay, I'm gonna combine these next two questions. It's, the first one is, are you happy being a student at this college? And the second one is, if you could go back, would you choose this college again? And um, I would say, it's kind of a difficult question. Overall, I'd say I pr I'm pretty happy with this college, and I feel like I definitely would choose to do it again. I definitely, low-key like if I had money um I wish that I could have gone to a college like in California where I I don't know kind of like a dream college I wish I could have gone to my dream college so um in that case kind of my answer is no like I wouldn't choose it again but I mean logically I would choose it again only because again um money like you know I would only I would only not choose it again if I somehow went back and like also like had money in the past or something if you know what I mean like if I went back in time and all of a sudden had money then I wouldn't pick it again if that makes any sense but for the most part yes I'm happy here um yeah okay this next question is what is your favorite thing about this school and I'm gonna have to be corny and say the theater program um, that's my major. Oh, that was another question that would have been important to answer or probably earlier, which is what is your major? I'm a double major in theater performance and also creative writing. Um, and so, but yeah, my favorite thing about this school is the theater program. I just love the community that's surrounding it. It makes me really happy. Sometimes it makes me frustrated, not gonna lie, 
but for the most part it makes me really happy and yeah it's definitely one of my favorite things about this school like if I didn't have the theater program I don't know what I would be like I I don't know I just probably definitely would not be as happy like at all like even close to being as happy so yeah and then the next question is what is my least favorite thing about the school and well okay the next two questions the next question is what is my least favorite thing about the school but that goes into what is um something you discovered about the school that you wish you would have known ahead of time before you applied and those two things go to together for me which is finding out the school is pretty racist i mean i'm white so like it doesn't affect me um because i'm white um but still knowing that i go to a school that really like you can look it up if you want like literally just look up csu racism and i feel like you'll find all sorts of stories um not just one like not just like oh like this one thing that happened like no like multiple things that have happened even in the past like year um at the school that was racist and i just yeah it's funny because their their huge thing is no place for hate at this school but um and I thought that was really nice when I first moved in. I would see the things everywhere that said, no place for hate, no place for hate. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. Like, you know, they don't accept intolerance. Like, they don't accept hate here. Um, except they do. Because, yeah, they're, there's a lot of, yeah. And um, not just, like, blatantly racist things that happen to, like, specific students. But also, like, racist, like, KKK members on campus. Like, shit like that like it literally is common here like it's just like okay maybe not common that's not the right word but like i don't know it's kind of just known here if you go here it's like oh yeah then putting up like kkk posters everywhere like oh again you know like literally someone's response one time was like oh again because it's happened before so yeah um, definitely, and I'm not, like, not obviously everyone here is racist, but, um, apparently a good amount of people are, obviously, and it affects the school, it affects those students who, you know, who, I don't know, I just, I wish I would have known that, and that definitely, obviously, is a big, like, I don't know, I can't talk, but it just sucks I guess is my point moving on next question is do you feel challenged in your coursework and I have to say heck yes um and I think it's interesting because a lot of people I feel like have the opinion of like most of my classes like I said I'm a double major in creative writing and um theater um but most of my classes are theater classes because i took a lot of english classes literature classes creative writing at my community college so i kind of got a lot of those credits taken care of at community college but theater was not offered and so now that i'm in this college double majoring most of my classes are theater um and my point with all of that is that i think a lot of people assume that with theater it's not very hard you know, like, they're just like, oh, it's theater. Like, you know, like, you don't have to do much. But um, I would argue that theater is challenging. Um, not just the coursework, but just the after school stuff involved as well. It is a lot. But even just the coursework itself is a lot. Because there's a lot of reading that you have to do. A lot of papers, surprisingly, that you have to write. And that's just for, like, kind of the more academic. Sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was so gross. But that's more for the academic theater classes, um, which I mean are classes like text analysis, which you have to take at this school, um, theater history one and two, which you have to take at that school, this school. Um, yeah, those classes are very, like I said, filled with papers and um, yeah, doing papers. And um, what was the other thing I said? Doing readings and you know all presentations and kind of typical coursework but then even in your performance type classes I know a lot of people would assume like okay but in performance classes you know that must not be as much um you know like court like work I guess is what I'm failing to say um and it is actually a lot of work it's just different obviously because instead of it being like oh memory like you know write 
a three page paper instead it's like do character work which is still right like a lot of writing um but like doing a lot of writing on your character work or whatever you know and then it's just like memorizing your monologue and making sure you're off book and which is harder than you would think it would be or doing blocking and make sure you have your blocking down and um just like I don't know just my point is it's hard to explain I feel like a little bit unless you're like in the classes but if you're in the classes you kind of know like it's not as simple as being like you know oh you're a theater major you just go to class and you like you know perform I guess or whatever or play the a lot of people think I think that you play like you know theater games like improv games and it's not like that at all um, there's actually a lot of homework in performance classes and theater classes in general and it's not I don't know it's challenging is my point and I think more challenging than people would believe <laughs> um the next question is um when are you going to like how long will it take you to graduate and why and I'm glad that they asked this question because um I, I know that people love to be like you know oh yeah it should totally take you four years to graduate or in my case it should technically only take me two years to graduate because I went to community college first um and technically as much as that should be should be true I'm actually taking a lot longer um because I'm double double majoring and because I'm not gonna lie I haven't like I've had semesters including this semester where I just have classes I didn't do too hot in and I have to retake it and be completely brutally honest I have a few classes that I have to retake um, and so because of those two things, instead of ma like graduating in the typical two years, um, I'm going to be graduating. Actually, I think it, for me, it is closer to four years. So in a way it seems normal because it's like, oh, you're going to graduate in four years, but it's like, yeah, but I should be graduating technically for me. It should be two because, um, yeah, I can't talk, but, um, that's why because double major too is the double majoring is the main reason and it's because um yeah you have like twice as many credits so yeah anyway next question this next question is how approachable are the professors so of course it's going to depend on professor to professor but i would say that every professor i've had especially in the theater program um have been very very approachable like they're very nice and you literally, I was going to say, in the theater program, I'm pretty sure we call everyone by their first name. Like, maybe not everyone. I think there's a few people who we still call them by their last name. Um, but, like, every, like for example, like, my acting teacher, his name is Noah. Like, we don't call him, like, Mr. whatever. We call him Noah. Um, and, like, that's how it is for all of my teachers. It's like, oh, hey, Debbie. Hey, Noah. Hey, you know, Elise, like, whatever, I'm just, like, name-dropping all my teachers' names, but, you know what I mean, like, we don't call them by, you know, their last name, like, Mr. Blah, 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 like, we're just, like, yeah, like, you know, I don't know, so, and they're just very cool and very approachable. There's some teachers here and there that are kind of more, like, um, but, um, no, I'd say for the most part, they're all very approachable, and my English teachers are like that, too, um, that I've had so far. I've only taken so far two English classes at this university, or no, three, three, um, technically, or four, but I've only had, like, I've taken four classes that are English, but only had three English professors, but all of those three English professors have also been very approachable. Also, I took a science class, and my science class, the professor was very, really nice and really approachable, so, um, yeah, I, all my professors have been super cool um I do think that ironically I've seen those like memes going around talking about how like in college like or sorry I meant to say high school in high school teachers can be like really strict and they're like oh we're strict because we're preparing you for college but then you get to college and teachers are like oh hey what's up you know like casual Friday like I don't know um and I do think there's like a truth to that like I think in my experience um for the most part, I actually had way stricter teachers in high school and middle school than once I got to college. Because once I got to college, all my teachers, for the most part, were, like, super chill and laid back and, like, whatever, man. Um, so you have that to look forward to. I mean, I guess depending on what college you go to, because I don't know. But I feel like most colleges, 
you know, are like that, you know, whatever. So yeah, next question. This next question is, what is your favorite place on campus? Again, I'm gonna be super cheesy and say that my favorite place on campus has to be right outside the front of the University Center for the Arts. The building in the front of it is just so beautiful. It's one of my favorite buildings. I filmed it in previous videos before um, because I just literally think it's so pretty. This time of year, well, it's starting to get to that time of year where they plant a bunch of flowers and because they have a garden like across the street, but then they also um, put flowers in front of the UCA and which I said that already, right? UCA stands for University Center for the Arts. Anyway, um, it just is beautiful and just even when there's not flowers it's beautiful but when there are flowers it's even more pretty and just it's my favorite building it's just so it's just so gorgeous and i feel so lucky that i get to like literally take classes in that building every single day like every day it's awesome so yeah i was gonna skip this question but i decided to answer it anyway because the question is are you in any extracurricular activities and for me the quick answer is no but I was gonna say that when I was in high school, I was in the color guard and this school has a color guard and every, or all the time when the color guard does their thing, you know, does their color guard thing, um, I always am just like, oh, I wish I could do that. Like, I wish I could join the color guard. But I am, as a theater major, I am way too busy to be, I feel like in any curricular, extracurricular activities, like, I barely can function with my schedule the way it is now. I can't imagine adding something on top of that, but um, I don't know. I just wanted to say that I'm not in any extracurricular activities, but if I was, I would join the color guard. Definitely, like, would do that. Um, but yeah. Another question is, do you live on campus, off campus, um, or yeah, I guess that's the only options. And I was gonna say that I live on campus, that is one good thing about this um, college is that they have apartments that are for upperclassmen only and um, yeah, they're like, you know, your own individual apartment. It's not like a dorm where you have an RA and like you have to like, I don't know, it's just, it's like, these are like actual apartments where you're living on your own, you are your own person um, and you're not being like watched and not, you know, whatever. So it's really nice because at first I was like, thought I would have to live in a dorm because my parents were going to make me live in a dorm. Um, cause they, I don't know, they were obsessed with the idea of me living on campus, like obsessed with it. Like the thought of me being off campus was like end of the world to them. So even though I started college technically when I was like 24, when I started college, they still wanted me to get a dorm because they were like, I know you're an adult, whatever, but like, um, they just, I don't know, just really didn't want me to live off campus. I personally didn't get it, but whatever. Um, but then we discovered these university apartments that existed and I was able to somehow s like steal one. And um, yeah, so I've been in one ever since then and um it's been worked out it's worked out pretty great i pretty much love it here i do admit i'm going to move this semester or next semester in the fall i am moving off campus into an off-campus apartment um not really any particular reason why mostly because i just was worried about like oh shit, you know where am i gonna live and the school this like the university apartments hadn't offered me an apartment yet and so because they hadn't offered me an apartment yet and because I was just worried about it and I was offered an apartment off campus, I just was like, I'm going to take the one off campus, better safe than sorry. And so I took it. And so, yeah, but, um, it's not necessarily like, oh, I hate these apartments. I can't wait to move out. Like whatever, you know, like I actually love, love, love this apartment and I'm really sad to move out actually. Um, but yeah. So that's, you know, good to know in case you're not a freshman and moving on or moving out onto campus, you can do that potentially in this apartment. I don't know how other colleges work, but more colleges should do this, honestly. So yeah. Next question is, have you been to a college party and have you gotten drunk? 
My answer is no. I've now been on this campus for a year and I have never been to a college party yet. Um, I went to kind of a theater party. It's not the same thing though. Um, and it was chaperoned. So like, yeah, definitely not the same, obviously. Um, but yeah, no, never been to a party. Personally, don't really want to. Like, I personally don't see the, um, what is it called? The appeal. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe one day I will. I kind of low-key want to go to, like, at least one just to, like, see what it's like. Um, I do admit there's, like, some curiosity in me. But for the most part, I'm, I'm good. I'm okay with staying home more than okay with it actually and then the last question I will answer is um have you developed any bad habits since being in college and I feel like yes um college has been great because it has taught me to live on my own and take care of myself and obviously that I have to take care of myself but it has also taught me that like let me just put it this way my dad is very much the type of person to you do everything now, now, now. Like, you take out the trash, now. You do the dishes, now. Like, everything, if there's a chore that needs to be done, you do it right that very, very second, and there's no such thing as putting it off. Like, at all. Even if it's, like, an hour. Like, no. You you don't put it off. Um, and so, being in college has taught me, like, oh, this is my apartment, you know? Like, if I want to put something off, I can if I want to, I can put it off for days. I mean, yes, like there are consequences to putting it off, like not having dishes and not having laundry. And you know, if you put those, those things off. Um, so anyway, point is, I don't think I'm that bad. I don't think I'm like super messy or I don't think I put things off like that badly, but I definitely have gotten into the habit of putting things off a little bit because I'm, I think I'm so used to, again, my dad being like now, now, now. And so now I'm like, oh, I can actually like not do it now 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 I can actually wait you know an hour whatever so um yeah I don't know where I was going with that but that's a bad habit and then just kind of I don't know I feel like there's other things but that's the main thing is cleaning again I don't think I'm like filthy dirty disgusting but I also think like I'm not I'm definitely cleaner and it's funny because when I go back to my dad's house I need like I have to remember to like step up my game in terms of cleaning because I'm like oh yeah I'm at my dad's house like better pick it up so yeah that's definitely a bad habit okay that's pretty much it all the other questions are questions like I can't really relate to um so I hope you enjoyed this college tag video I hope it was interesting I personally find these videos interesting I always I'm interested in different people's college experiences and what college is like for them because I just feel like it's different for everyone. Um, so if you want to make this tag, you should so I can binge watch them and learn about everyone's different college experience and be a creep, I guess. Um, other than that, I'm going to go. I hope you have a great week and goodbye.